Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk some boxing. Now, AJ versus Usyk. This is going to be an intriguing matchup and Usyk is looking very, very fast on the speed bag. And this is despite him bulking up slightly. Now, I know a lot cannot be made of the fact that he has gained between 10 and 15 pounds, but that is still a considerable amount of weight when you consider the way this guy moves. So he has put on a little bit of size. I wouldn't imagine he'll gain all that much more following going up to 230. I actually think that it's a good move for him to do that because what a lot of fighters do is they bulk up during their camp. If they're going to put on weight, they do it during their training camp for their opponent. Or if they're going to, say, lose weight, they do it during their training camp. Now, the idea of that camp is to get prepared for their opponent. So I guess that does kind of come into it as well when it comes to their weight. But if they can get their weight right before they start their camp, then they are not spending their training camp trying to hit a certain weight. They have already done it going in. And Usyk has done that because he released that video on his Instagram page of him hitting 230. And that was even before he thought he was going to be fighting AJ. Although I do believe he always believed that that would happen still. That was when they were talking about Usyk versus Joe Joyce. So he has been planning to bulk up. And I guess no matter who he was facing, Joe Joyce or Anthony Joshua, he knows he's going to be facing a tall, heavy, strong opponent. I would imagine that putting on a little bit of extra weight would benefit him a lot more in a Joe Joyce fight as opposed to an Anthony Joshua fight because against Joe Joyce, he is someone who comes forwards doesn't give his opponent a moment to rest. I mean, look at the Takam fight, look at the Dubois fight. That is what Joe Joyce does. AJ, at times, will stand off his opponent, which does give Usyk the opportunity to use his boxing abilities and skills. So being a little bit heavier against Joe Joyce would definitely benefit him more than being a bit heavier against AJ. Nevertheless, he has still gained that weight. And I believe that it is a plan because of what happened in previous fights in the heavyweight division. So maybe he does want to be a little bit stronger on the inside. Perhaps he felt he was being manhandled too much when getting up close to Derek Chisora. And a little bit of extra weight will give him a little bit of leeway when they get up close with either Joe Joyce or AJ. It's going to be AJ for Usyk. But it didn't really matter to Usyk who he was facing. He just knew that... Perhaps he needed to be stronger when in the clinch and have a little bit of his own weight to throw around. Now, he is still looking fast and that is important for Usyk because if it's about power and punch resistance, you don't believe he's going to win out over Anthony Joshua. I mean, I know there are those who are going to say AJ doesn't have great punch resistance because he got stopped by Andy Ruiz, but... He would have better punch resistance than Alexander Usyk. Let's remember, this is the heavyweight division. I know that Usyk hasn't really shown that he's had a problem with big punches, but that is at cruiserweight. I know he took punches from Derek Chisora, but again, Chisora is not a huge one-punch knockout puncher. Look at AJ and his knockouts compared to Chisora. So when you look at it like that, AJ is taking punches from fully fledged heavyweights, 15 stone, 16 stone plus, whereas Usyk has been taking them from cruiserweights, 14 stone, around that. So it is a little bit different. I mean, there are going to be very few people who have good punch resistance against someone that heavy and who punches that hard, like Ruiz, like Klitschko. If you get caught, it's going to hurt. If it's in the wrong place at the right time, it's going to stop an opponent anyone in the heavyweight division. That is why it is so exciting. Any one punch can land at any moment and it can change the course of the entire contest. But at the moment, what we are talking about is speed and not power. What is going to win? Is speed going to win or is timing going to win? Because we know that speed kills, but we also know that timing beats speed. Is AJ going to be able to time music? Is he going to be able to figure out a rhythm, solve the puzzle and find a way to exploit any weakness he can find in Usyk because they are few and far between. 
This is not going to be an easy fight for Anthony Joshua by no stretch of the imagination. This is going to be one of his tougher fights during his career. But isn't that good? Isn't that what we want to see? New interesting matchups in the heavyweight division. So we get to see who is number one. I mean, there are so many challenges waiting for an opportunity, but still big fights do seem to be eluding the heavyweight division at times. And it is great to see new challengers get their opportunity to see if they can crack it at the big time in the heavyweight division. So will that speed be enough for Usyk? Will the movement be enough? I think that it will be enough to cause Anthony Joshua problems, but I do believe that Anthony Joshua will look to establish a foothold in the contest and establish it early on. So he will look to dictate the distance and the pace of the contest. Usyk does often start slow, so AJ will start fast, I would imagine, but what AJ has to be careful of is he doesn't burn out in the early rounds because then Usyk, he will be happy to go later and then press AJ as we get towards the championship rounds. I believe that he will want to establish the fundamentals, but he won't want to go in there and spend too much energy trying to break Usyk down early, just because Usyk starts slow. Usyk doesn't start slow because that's just how he is. He starts slow because it is strategic. He wants to work out his opponent. He wants to figure out what will work and what won't. So if a fighter goes in there looking to blow him away, he is smart enough to be able to get through that. And I don't believe AJ is someone who is going to do that because he is too skillful, he's too rounded as a boxer, and experienced to go in there with someone like Usyk who he knows is a top quality operator and just look for a KO. So I expect to see a standoff in this contest quite early on. Usyk will warm into the fight, he will get better as the fight goes on. I mean, we saw that against Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew was controlling things here and there, but Usyk warmed into the fight and even when Tony Bellew was really tired, towards that 8th round, Usyk was only getting stronger. He remained sharp enough to then get the finish against Tony Burley to still have that technical ability, the footwork, the movement, the speed as well, that would cause Tony Burley problems, and Burley was out on his feet, he was just so tired. And that is just how difficult Usyk is to navigate for anyone, whether it's a cruiserweight or a heavyweight, the interesting thing about his move to heavyweight is Chisora had a close call against him. Chisora, you would imagine, could have gotten a draw, a win, maybe out of that fight. It was close, and he was also matching Usyk when it comes to endurance. I mean, Usyk was moving better. Usyk was the more technically gifted boxer, but he chose to fight a certain way that played into Derek Chisora's hands, that made it easier for him to try and get something out of the contest. And... As I said, Chisora was able to stick there with him when it came to endurance. AJ, I would imagine, now is able to do something similar because he looks a lot better at around 17 stone. He doesn't seem to get tired as quickly as he did when he was closer to, say, 18 stone. I mean, in the Pulev fight, he put a lot into that third round, but he was able to take a minute and get straight back behind his jab. Boxing didn't seem to be fatigued or tired after putting a lot into that third round. And what the Pula fight also shown us is that he can be at a lighter weight around 17 stone and he still has the punching power. He also shown that in the second Ruiz fight by controlling Ruiz. Ruiz at around 20 stone and someone who can also press forwards cuts off the ring would be a very difficult opponent to keep off but AJ was able to do it because he punches that hard and he has a spearing jab as well. So he was able to keep him away. Usyk is a fighter who will try and pressure Anthony Joshua and use angles. I don't believe he'll want to go on the back foot because then AJ will have a chance to pick him off. And Usyk is the smaller opponent. So he's the one who's going to have to get close to AJ and find a way to get in range. That is something that Joe Parker found so difficult being a smaller opponent going in there with AJ. His jab was out of range for the whole night, whereas AJ kept landing his jab and keeping Joe Parker on the outside. 
there was that problem with the referee not allowing them to work up close, but still, I believe that AJ will be able to keep Usyk at bay for a certain period of time. But Usyk will have his moments and that speed, the footwork, the fact that he doesn't tire in fights will be a difficult thing for AJ to navigate. The best thing that he can do is try and time Alexander Usyk and I believe that he will put that into motion when he gets in there on September 25th because, as we know, timing beats speed. AJ will be looking to tame Alexander Usyk and let him know what will be coming back if he gets too brave. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.